Hello everybody, today we're going to look at gram-positive cocci and the genus that we are going to touch is uh, the genus Staphylococcus. So Staphylococcus, Staph means uh, in clusters and Coccus means uh, in uh, spheres. So the first bacteria we, go we are going to look at is Staphylococcus aureus. So Staph aureus are in, clust are in clusters or tetrads and they, they are gram-positive cocci, that means they are purple when viewed under a microscope right after uh, performing a gram stain. Uh, they form buttery yellow colonies on mannitol salt agar and uh, mannitol salt agar, they, it has a high concentration of uh, sodium chloride which acts as a selective uh, media uh, for halophiles. Halophiles are salt-loving uh, bacteria those that love sodium chloride such as uh, uh, bacteria uh, in the staph genus. So uh, if an organism can ferment mannitol, uh, mannitol uh, an acidic byproduct uh, is actually formed that causes uh, phenol, uh, the causes phenol red in the agar to turn uh, yellow. Uh, I'll show you a diagram of, of, of this uh, later, what, what this means. Uh, because Staphylococcus aureus has the ability to uh, ferment mannitol, that's why uh, it appears uh, appears uh, yeah colonies appear buttery yellow in color, because phenol red turns yellow. Uh, it is catalyst positive. Catalyst positive. Uh, catalyst test is usually done to see if an organism uh, has the uh, enzyme catalyst. So catalyst usually catalyzes the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen and they are coagulase positive. So this is uh, mannitol uh, uh, salt agar and staphylococcus aureus as you can see they form buttery yellow colonies because they, they, they form an acidic uh, uh, they form an acidic byproduct that causes phenol red uh, in the uh, media to turn yellow. Staphylococcus aureus under microscopic view. So Staphylococcus aureus are, are aerobic, aerobic mean, meaning they require oxygen and they form grape-like clusters. Causes food poisoning within four to six hours of ingestion of contaminated food. Boils usually due to inflammation and other skin infections. Osteomyelitis, post-operative infections, as well as nosocomial uh, infections, hospital acquired, sepsis, endocarditis, uh, toxic shock syndrome, scalded skin syndrome, and pneumonia. Next uh, bacteria we're going to look at is uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis. So, so Staphylococcus epidermidis are in clusters. They are gram, they, they are gram positive cocci and they form white colonies on mannitol salt agar because uh, these guys uh, are unable to uh, ferment mannitol hence it does not change the, the, the not form an acidic byproduct that changes the phenol red in the, uh, in the agar medium to yellow they are catalase positive and they have the enzyme catalase and they are coagulase negative <coughs> oh yeah sorry uh, coagulase uh, tests are usually used to uh, identify whether an, an organism uh, produces the uh, exoenzyme, exoenzyme coagulase, uh, which usually causes the fibrin of blood plasma to clot. So they're coagulase negative, hence they do not have the exo exoenzyme coagulase. This is Staphylococcus uh, epidermidis on, on MSA, uh, on mannitol salt, growing on mannitol salt agar. They form white colonies, as you can see. Staphylococcus uh, epidermidis under microscopic view. So Staphylococcus uh, epidermidis are, are aerobic and causes sepsis uh, and infective endocarditis in, in IV drug users, intravascular IV drug users and hospitalized patients with implantable devices. Next bacterial species, uh, Staphylococcus sepro Phyticus, so staph saprophyticus are in clusters. Staphylococcus saprophyticus are in clusters, and they are gram they they are gram positive cocci. 
uh, like uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis, they form white colonies on mannitol salt agar and are novobiosin resistant. Novobiosin is actually an anti an, an antibiotic and amino coumarin antibiotic which is produced uh, by the actinomyces streptomyces nevius. They're catalase positive and uh, coagulase negative. Staphylococcus uh, saprophyticus, you can see they, they, they form white colonies on mannitol salt agar. Staphylococcus saprophyticus under microscopic view. So uh, Staphylococcus saprophyticus are aerobic and, and are the second most common cause of urinary tract infections, UTI, uh, uh, behind uh, Escherichia coli, which is the most common cause of urinary tract infections. Staphylococcus uh, hemolyticus, uh, these guys, Staphylococcus hemolyticus, uh, are in clusters, gram-positive cocci and are large, they, their colony size is large, and they are also uh, pigment producers. They usually grow in the presence of 10% uh, uh, sodium chloride, quite high, which is higher, uh, and also are coagulase uh, negative. Coagulase negative meaning they do not have the exoenzyme uh, uh, coagulase. Uh, a bit about uh, Staphylococcus hemolyticus. They are they are usually found at the axilla, uh, perineum, axilla is armpit, perineum, and inguinal areas. They are highly uh, antibiotic resistant and they also have the ability to actually form a, a biofilms and this actually makes it uh, very difficult to treat and they also are uh, categorized as opportunistic uh, pathogens. This is, this is Staphylococcus hemolyticus, <coughs> Staphylococcus hemolyticus. So Staphylococcus hemolyticus are aerobic and are the second most uh, frequently encountered coagulase negative staph species which is associated uh, with human disease. They cause uh, native valve endocarditis, septicemia, peritonitis, urinary tract infections and wound, bone and joint infections. Uh, I think this is the last bacteria in the genus Staphylococcus. Uh, staph, uh, Staphylococcus hominis. Staphylococcus hominis are in tetrads and clusters. We have gram positive cocci. Uh, they are they are aerobic. They can grow in uh, both aerobic and anaerobic conditions, but usually grow uh, less in the latter anaerobic conditions. Don't don't really grow that well in the anaerobic conditions. They form white to tan colonies. Usually grow in the presence of seven point five percent sodium chloride. They are catalase positive, meaning they have they, they have uh, the enzyme catalase to uh, to perform the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. And, but they are coagulase negative, meaning they do not uh, have the exoenzyme or produce the exoenzyme do not produce the exoenzyme uh, coagulase. Staphylococcus hominis uh, do not have a, a, a an agar mead uh, picture of of Staphylococcus hominis on growing on an agar medium. I'm sorry, this is under microscopic view. So Staphylococcus hominis are aerobic. Uh, they are the major component of normal flora, along with other coagulase negative staph. Has been associated with septicemia. And the and Staphylococcus hominis subspecies, Nova biospaticus, may be associated with a clinically significant uh, septicemia and its resistance uh, to uh, Novo biosin. With that, I thank you.